Digital plays out in two ways in government aligned with the government mission. It, it plays out first in the policy platforms of, of government. So the digital transformations brought on the economy by uh, disrupting businesses. So Uber, Airbnb have been causing significant policy difficulties for government. Second, uh, digital transformations are helping government deliver services in a much better, much coordinated fashion. Governments are able to treat with their customers or their citizens in the moment. They provide digital services, uh, information available at the point of consumption. The digital path in the private sector is very easy for them. They have a profit incentive that is um, imbued on them by their shareholders, whether they're publicly listed or, or privately held companies. That um, po uh, profit incentive plays out in a clear vision for management to do digital things, so disrupt business models, either to prevent themselves being disrupted or to disrupt markets. Governments tend to not have those incentives, and what we're seeing is that uh, getting that, dig that digital vision is difficult for them to play out in policy terms. Let's look at Singapore. Now, what they've done is created a central capability. They've got a number of the people that are necessary to generate digital, uh, digital transformations, the data scientists, which is very difficult to find in the economy, people who are used to designing things with the, the end users in mind. What Singapore has done is has created a central capability called GovTech. GovTech has then uh, taken the mission to talk to other parts of government. They have uh, a borrowing lending program with people, so people are able to be seconded into uh, other parts of government. The UK government um, has a similar centralised model, and what it has done, however, is centralised everything into uh, its, all of the digital aspects into the GDS, the Government Digital Service. Other governments are really uh, looking at these things more department by department. So not quite top down from the, the um, head of government, but rather they're doing it in departments. BCG works with governments on the four levers of digital transformation. The first of those levers is to have a vision. BCG helps our uh, government clients define and crystallise their digital transformation vision. We can then work with those government clients to build the, uh, the platforms, the, the policy platforms that are required to give effect to that vision. We can then help governments uh, communicate, engage with their citizens to give that policy platform the legitimacy uh, to, to, to be enacted. And then finally, we can turn those, uh, that legitimate uh, policy platform into actions. And we work on uh, all four of those policy levers.